A study shows that Asian actors are cast in roles that are just too white and not culturally specific to them being Asian. Let's talk about what this really means. Oh my goodness, and apparently if you read the comment section, it means a lot. We're talking about a study from the Norman Lear Center at USC, Andrew, and they're talking about the meaningful risk to casting Asian roles in proximity to whiteness. And this sparked so many debates. What does it even mean to act Asian? And is it okay for an Asian to act white? Is it okay for an Asian to act black? Why does it seem like you can only either be a nerdy Asian, try to act white, or try to act black in America? What's going on, man? So make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications because this one, it's a little complicated, but you know what is not complicated? Smala sauce, a sauce that is Eastern and Western. Not trying too hard to be either one, but probably a little bit more Eastern. Check it out, smalasauce.com. We are shipping right now. Very proud of it. Anyways, guys. Uh, um, they, they said, Andrew, in the top 100 titles on streaming platforms in 2022, okay. mo like basically almost all, let's just say 95 out of 100 of the Asians, in the top 100 streaming titles that were Asian American acted more white than anything, according to the study. Okay. Like acted close in proximity to whiteness. They're not talking to other Asian characters. They're not talking about cultural specificity. They're not making deep cut Asian jokes or even Asian jokes uh -huh. at all. It's almost like these characters were written for white people, but then just given to an Asian and people were debating, is that right, wrong? Is it a DEI, is it tokenization? Or is it actually how some Asian Americans really are in IRL? Yeah, I mean, I have some reasons why I think that is. So a few reasons. One is that some of these Asian actors are getting thrust into these non-Asian roles for diversity purposes. Or okay. they're like, hey, this is a side character. We don't have to put another white person here. This Asian actor can do the job. Let's just slip him in there, give him a white name. It doesn't matter. Uh, for example, Katie Burinek being played by Constance Wu in the terminal list. It's not really brought up that she's Asian, right. but she's a, a pretty Asian woman. And she yeah. almost is just, she's playing the character with the, with the Eastern European last name. And, right, and right. Who knows? I mean, maybe she could have been adopted, right? They could make that excuse, right? Um, also, I think that a lot of Asian actors who go into Hollywood are kind of, I don't want to say whitewash, but essentially more like into white culture because theater, acting, if you've ever taken an acting class, even if you took an improv class, it feels white. It's not necessarily wrong that it feels white, but you understand what I'm saying. Like those are things designed by white people. When I took- Are you a, talking about the theater? When I took a theater class in college, one theater class in college, my teacher or professor was a black woman, but you could say when you are watching her teach, I don't know, was she acting like a white woman? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? So I guess like, uh, that's also another aspect of it. A lot right, of- So the writers might be looking at even that specific actor and be like, yeah, they could pull this white character off because yeah. they, they feel white to me when I'm in, in them doing the reads. Yeah, and then a lot of uh, good Asian actors themselves in their real life are very Americanized, minus a lot of the Asian actors who are born in Asia that came here to work, such as Ronnie Chang, Jimmy O. Yang, those guys- Or, or, or Grace Park, or Grace Park, they, they, they have to, or Dan, even Daniel Day Kim, these guys, they're, they're clearly very Asian. They're very in tune with their uh, Asian side. I feel like almost like 60% of the time, Asianness is brought up in their character. What, maybe not like a, a, a deep- AAS type convo, but it just might play into right. the content. Right. So I, I, I guess my main question though is, and a lot of the main gripe about this is one, what does it mean to play an Asian character? Do you have to make a reference about you being Asian? Even if you're an Asian character that's in the movie for 10 minutes, do you have to make some reference to taking off your shoes before they get into the house? Something like that. Right. Is that what you would want? Is that what people are talking about? Right. And then um, also just like, I guess, I, I guess what about like Asians from Asia, like K-dramas, is that what acting Asian is like? Like you gotta act like Duna? Right. From Netflix. Right, right, right. I don't know. No, I mean, it's a good question. I think that that's why there was so much argument in the comments section. I mean, real quick, is being acting Asian American specifically almost having sort of a sarcastic analytical outside eye? A little cynical, so like, you're a, saying, like a Daria, like a Meg Griffin, like a Lisa Simpson, or like a, obviously Spock is the most stereotypical Asian. Like he was written to be like, you know, he's like, I'm kind of robotic and human. I'm fighting both sides well, of myself. Well, and obviously the Asians, East Asians have the robotic stereotype. I, I think even though all those characters could have been swapped with an Asian person and it would have made sense, I think essentially that's going to be seem too stereotypical. 
Right. I guess I guess I just want to know what people are asking for if they're fed up with this. I don't think actually yeah. that many people are mad about the representation lately. I think because there's so much of it, you would take it, right? Yeah, like it's almost like I'll take it, but it's not perfect, but I'll take it. Yeah, I mean seeing an Asian face is still mu- way 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 better yeah. than no Asian face. I think the truth is and it's changing right now. It's becoming more 3D, it's becoming more nuanced, but long story short, <clears throat> in America for the past 100 years or, or so, I'd say since Sammy Davis Jr. and actually since African-Americans were even allowed into the mainstream, there's always been a white spectrum and a black spectrum, and there's a middle point, and I believe that Asians are placed more towards white, and I believe that Latino people are placed more towards black. Yes. And that's not necessarily fair to either group, but that is where the placement has been on the pre-existing linear cultural spectrum of America. Okay, so Even though it might be more technical to make it a hexagon or a heptagon and rank it more scientifically, People don't. Right, right. Okay, let's talk about some Asian characters that people are generally satisfied with. Some Asian actors that when they show up, even other Asians are like satisfied with this representation, right? Right. I I would say to me, the most Asian character that I ever saw in mainstream, and it's so crazy, I got to go so far back to do it, but it it makes sense because the director was Asian American himself, was Justin Lin having Sung Kang playing this cool manga samurai-like philosopher in Fast and Furious 2. And you know what is crazy, Andrew? I still hear Asian American guys talk about that character sometimes. How many Asian guys in your real life do you know act like Sun King in that movie? That act like him in... Some. I wouldn't say it a lot. I haven't met that many. Yeah, but I'm just saying that he felt Asian, though. Right, right. Because he felt like a Zen. No, because he felt like Like a Buddhist. Almost like a... uh, Of the lineage of a samurai... So I guess, is that Life's how Asians simple. You just should make act? decisions and you don't look back. Yeah, so is that how Asians should act in real life? Like, because if, 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 if the, people are just writing characters based off some Asian person they've met in real life, then Asian people got to also act Yeah, like but that. I just think that the white writers who are oftentimes the writers, they probably only meet authentically more white adjacent or whitewashed Asians in their circles. Right. So I guess it's like a whole thing where it's like some accident as well as some on purpose, which creates this whole thing where you go, man, 95 out of 100 lead character Asians acted white. Let's talk about uh, Steven Yoon, Ronnie Chang, Jimmy O. Yang, Daniel Day Kim. I feel like we're generally satisfied with all their characters they play. What right. about Sandra? But, but those guys were born overseas. Sandra O oh from Canada. Aquafina is Asian American. Are we, are, are we satisfied with the characters I, that they I've play? I've met them both. I mean, obviously we know Aquafina. Yeah. I wouldn't say that they actually act white. I'm not saying that they... You know what I mean? I wouldn't say from knowing them. Yeah, they don't act white them. in the characters, but I guess, so we should, we want more Asian actors to act like them, less like Constance Wu, right? Because everybody, no one really likes like her characters. Right, apparently Constance Wu in her characters and IRL is like deeply, deeply feels white. I guess so, Apparently yeah. that's what everybody's been saying. Um, I don't know, man, it's complicated. I guess, I guess how do we juxtapose it with a character like Boogie, where Taylor, I believe, what, Takahara... Takahashi, yeah. Takahashi, the, the Hooper, he was, quote, unquote, acting black. Do you know right. what I'm saying? That was, uh, I guess, the well, that was a theatrical I, I know release, some but Asians, that, that would have counted against the 100, right? Like, that would have been right. on the other Boogie, side. Boogie wouldn't get, wouldn't get counted in that. Um, yeah, I mean, and then, but then acting black, is it problematic? Acting white, it's right. problematic. Acting Asian, acting too fobby, too Asian is stereotypical and problematic. It's almost like, Long Duck Dong is the Asian character or some version of it. I'm not saying it hasn't elevated over the years. And then people are thinking when you're acting white, you're acting like Taylor Swift or maybe Ryan Gosling. And then when you're acting black, it's almost like people are thinking like something really stereotypical too. Like, you know what I mean? Whether it's like Kevin Hart or like NBA Young Boy or, um, you know, Tiffany Haddish or something. I'm saying that those are the, I I just feel like that's how people like triangulate things for Asians. You're going to be like, Either this thing that we think you are, your dad is, your uncle is, your grandpa is, and then or you're gonna be a wannabe version of this or a wannabe version of that. That's how I feel like it sort of plays out for Asians in a media sense. Mm. And um, yeah, we're gonna get in some interesting comments anyway. Um, this guy just said, yeah, I just feel like people think that Asians are close enough and it just checks a diversity box. It's probably like a lot of directors, they're just forced to do it because the execs are making it like a DEI quota initiative. Mm. So that's why you see so many Asians shoved into pieces it's glad we're glad to see their faces, but it's not like they like Asianize anything. I, I feel like part of the issue is that a lot of the Asian actors are considered corny. Where I think a lot of Asians would be okay with 
them acting like a cool version of a white guy or a cool version of a black guy. Ooh. Like, if an Asian could act like Leonardo DiCaprio or, to be honest, Ryan Gosling, he kind of has some cool roles. He's dorkier than Leo, though. Leo, He's Leo was than the Leo, Wolf but of he Wall doesn't Street. play dorks, though. He does not play dorks, right? When was the last time Ryan Gosling played a dork? He plays a dorky hunk, yeah. But I'm just saying, there's all right, Leo. If you if an Asian guy play, can play like a Leo McConaughey, can, can play like a McConaughey or a DiCaprio, then we'll take it, right? Even though he's acting like a white guy, but he's not a corny white guy. But we just never have seen that. I know. So to this day, I so I, I guess that's what maybe since ma- since a Hasegawa. Or but, but maybe that's what people are mad about. Like like if an Asian guy can literally play like Denzel. Mm-hmm. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think anyone's gonna trip about that. Yeah. All right, Andrew. We got to get into two major debates here. This one was between Republican assimilated Asians and assimilated, but more, I guess, like liberal woke Asians and Asians who just don't even feel assimilated at all. They were in a triangle argument. So this guy basically was like, "So you can't be too white, but also not too Asian to make everybody happy." These casting calls are just so ridiculous and complicated. Looking for an ambiguous Asian of unoffensive shade, and basically somebody else was like, "Yeah, what's wrong with being white?" Some of my best friends are white and then somebody else came in and said you know it's okay we're not saying that that's wrong we're just saying we just need to have our culture actually shown and what makes us different and somebody else said came in and was like yeah you're right i don't feel like everybody does it's not representing me because i am different from everybody well there's so different, you have like all the no, sides so there's different groups of asians right and there's different viewpoints on this some asians some Asians wanted to just grow up and be accepted like everyone else, to be able to walk into a room, to walk into a role. You mean be ha- treated as a white person without it, it, you being from a different phenotype ever being brought up? Right, to just be treated like literally, every, like your, your ethnicity is not a reason that you're there. And then there's another group that's like, hey, we're Americanized, but we hold on to our culture, so I'd like to see our culture acknowledged. And then there's the ones that are like, the foreigner Asians who are like literally like, well, you know, I'm just new to this country, so, you know, I really don't. Uh, I don't think, uh, yeah, I'm just I like cannot a, penetrate the mainstream immigrant. flow. Yeah, I'm an immigrant. So I think, like, of those three groups, what group are you? Like, you know, to the to audience asking. Somebody said, man, this all comes down to wanting Southeast Asians from the hood that break all East Asian stereotypes mm. to finally get put on and not in a negative way, only like Gran Torino either. Somebody said, yes, F all these model minority stereotypes. I don't fit in with them. I don't relate them. And somebody said, I just am sick of seeing the get bullied Asians. I want to see some get gully Asians. Mm. Honestly, psh, part of, I wouldn't say this is the whole going to solve everything, but like, I feel like that. Yeah, that'd be cool. I, I think, you know, you got to have the stories. And uh, I think it'd be cool, I guess, like, how you could tie in, like, in, like, some white movie. Maybe, like, they should be able to encounter, like, a Cambodian gang or something like that. Like, that would be interesting to write that in, like, in a good way. And the Cambodian gang, like, helps them. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, but not just, uh, not just view them in a negative light. Right, 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 right. But then, I guess, is that what they want? They want Cambodian gang members Man. or do you just want urban Filipino guys that are dancers more? Because I will say this, in the dance movies, there probably should have been more Filipinos. Because there was a Southeast Asian guy who came in and said, hey guys, not all Southeast Asian characters need to be from the hood. For example, we could be journalists like Hang S. Noor from The Killing Fields or there was a recent uh, Vietnamese romantic Netflix show that was in Vietnam. That guy was obviously not like uh, Johnny Dang or anything like that. Shout out to Johnny Dang though. That's tight too. Somebody said, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess why, why is, is everybody not happy? Happy, Andrew. Everybody's thinking that this is going to solve it. That's going to solve it. I, I just think that the truth is people want more playable characters in Street Fighter. You know, in Street Fighter, Andrew, you had to beat the lower characters to like open up the uh, grayed out characters so you could be Akuma and all the other better Street Fighter characters that were more advanced and like uh, Evil Ryu or whatever. But like, I'm saying like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, are people just not happy with the, the choices on the table? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess, man. I mean... I think about Simu, you know, Simu's characters, Shang-Chi, you know, obviously very Asian character written. Now he's in a bunch of other movies, but not necessarily playing. I don't think being Asian is the focus of his character in some of these other roles that he has. Like, are people going to be okay with that? In Barbie, that? I don't think they talk about him being Asian. No, right? no. In Barbie, he, he, he could have been, he's just another Ken. So is that, is that how people would want is like, you have an actor who played clearly an Asian role, John Cho. He's Harold and Kumar. That's clearly Asian. But he was playing John, a stereotypical 
nerd but, Asian. But then in John Cho can go off and play all these other roles that like it's non-specific to being. Asian. I think the one about losing his daughter searching is not. They don't. They, it's not Asian, but his daughter's Asian. So it's like. It is like Asian, but it's he's not acting like an Asian dad, is he? Or like what a typical Asian dad is like. I guess he's very intense. <laughs> but he's intensely looking for Zara. I would imagine a lot of Asian dudes are would be like that. Yeah, so. I don't know. I, I think that uh it's so hard and I don't think everybody's gonna be happy, but I do think people need to really look at this. I feel like when judging Asian characters, you need to look at it one way. Whether you think they're acting more Americanized and that means more white or they're acting more urban and that means they're acting more black or they're acting more Asian, which means they're acting fobby. Whatever that is, just scan them to see if they're an embarrassment, if they're a good character at the baseline. And then I think the culture and everything is second. Because if they're a bad character, the culture almost doesn't matter. It's going to be a bad character. It's going to be an embarrassment. Because what, Long Duck Dong, he was playing an Asian character embarrassment right, right but he was being an a yeah an I, asian embarrassment so i'd rather have in a way like just a good asian character that's not an embarrassment if that it's between those two right 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 and then is a matter if it's a cool asian character that you can relate to or you can't relate to because i always feel like the samurai characters in uh john wick i, I can't even forget i'm forgetting his name right now hiroki the guy who plays... Uh, well, he's a Japanese actor. The Japanese guy that's part of the table. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or one of the assassins or whatever. You know what I mean? And then I'm saying, like, that's pretty cool. But then it's almost like he's so foreign, too, because he's like a literal, like, right, samurai. Right, right. I mean, I guess it's cool that we have cool foreign characters. Like, we have, like, uh, uh, Ken Watanabe and, like, some other cool... Donnie Yen plays pretty cool in John Wick. Yeah, yeah. Some of the Korean actors are pretty cool, too. So I, I guess, like, I think it's cool that people from Asia are being seen as cool in the West. But then it's funny because, because they're from Asia, it kind of leaves out Asian Americans. So Asian yeah. Americans are wondering, Hey, when are we going to be, get to be seen as cool and not corny? But actually a lot of Asian Americans are kind of corny to be honest. So, yeah. Cause I think that the process that makes, and I don't think it's like a lot, but a pretty sizable amount. They like try so hard to be quote unquote white or try so hard to be black, but then it just like, doesn't work. But then nobody has fully formed what it is to be Asian. And even to be Asian, it, it could vary for different groups or socioeconomic classes or education classes or different histories, you know? It's easier to act like a samurai when you're actually from Japan. <laughs> it is. like When you're great, 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 when you, one of your ancestors was a samurai, it yeah. is easier. Anyways, guys, let us know in the comments down below what you think about all this. Who are some other good Asian characters that you thought uh, did a great job representing themselves? We're still very specifically Asian. Um, and yeah, let us know what you think. Like, are a lot of Asian actors in their roles playing too white? Can they just replace non-Asian characters with an Asian face? Does that still count as representation? I still think so, but... I, I'll say this. I'll say this. I think that a lot of people in the comments section, Andrew, were arguing a lot more than this Norman Lear study. They were talking about entire assimilation priorities and game plans mm. in this uh, being an Asian face living in the West. So anyway, let you guys uh, let us know what you guys think of the comments section below. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.